invited Rabbi Zusha to his Kiddush in Shabbat. He never invited him to his... Why? Because Rabbi Zusha, he was all flame to Hashem in Barach. He was screaming and shouting and dancing and uh, there's no borders to him. So that, uh, that Talmud Chacham couldn't invite him to his house. And one time Rabbi Zusha told him, listen, why aren't you inviting me to, to your Kiddush never? So I told him, listen, I know you, you're throwing things, you're jumping, you're screaming, you're singing loud, it's too hard for me in my house. So I told him, no, listen, I'm going to be a good boy, I'm not going to do nothing, I'm going to sit quietly, I just want to hear you how you do Kiddush, I want to sit in your table, please invite me to your, to your Kiddush. I told him, listen, I'm afraid, he told him, no, no, 100%, nothing, I'm not doing nothing. I told him, you promise? He said, yes, I'm going to be a good boy, good, nothing you're not do. He said, all right. And then they went inside after, after my we invited him, they went to Bet Knesset, after Bet Knesset, went to that Rebbe's house, went inside, and he started singing Shalom Aleichem to the angels, and Rabbi Zusha feels that he wants to, to jump, to fly in the air, and he's holding himself, and he's, he's tying himself, don't move, don't move, don't sing, don't move, close your eyes, don't see, don't smell, don't hear, and he's tying himself. Finish singing Shalom Aleichem, start singing Eshet Chayil, Rabbi Zusha wants to fly from the windows, he <laughs> don't know what to do. What are you going to do? Eshet Chayil singing to the Shechina Kedosha, and he, but he doesn't have a choice, he promised, and he's closing his eyes, Mamash is sitting in the chair. All right, Kiddush, the same, he wants to jump, he don't know what to do, he wants to, to, to turn everything away, to throw everything away, he don't know what to do. And Kiddush finished, they made a mozi also in Tilat Yadayim, a mozi, and he's sitting like that, focusing on his promise not to do nothing, not to move, not to talk. And then the wife of that Rebbe came with the fish, two kinds of fish, to the table. And she told her husband, ask Rabbi Zusha, ask your guest what he rather, if he rather that kind of fish, or that kind of fish, if he rather chrayme or gefilte fish, what he, what he wants more. So that Rabbi asked Rabbi Zusha, he asked him, Rabbi Zusha, what do you love more? Do you love chrayme or do you love gefilte fish? So Rabbi Zusha jumped in the air and he said, Fish I love! Hashem I love! <laughs> I love fish! I love Hashem! For sure the wine was all over the table. <laughs> 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 Just a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I love fish, I love Hashem. Who care about fish? I love Hashem. <laughs> 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 <laughs>